friends, Richie here, and uh, yeah, I set up the camera right, and now I've got to um, talk for. I usually talk for two or three minutes. The thing is, I have very little prepared, but what I do have for you is something I've been working on, and uh, I think I'm in the frame here. I call it anti-reactionary-ism. Now, what it's about, back when I was a teenager, I started thinking in a slightly unusual fashion. And uh, there is a lot of mind control happening out there in society. And if you've watched my earlier videos, you'll hear me talk of middle management, and I call them the Dracos. Um, so called because they come from an area of space known as Alpha Draconis. Anyway, these guys, they uh, make men, like we're men, they're not men, you know, they're a uh, reptoid in nature, so um, they're closer to AI, artificial intelligence. But yeah, so they send out, by means of technology, ideas to men. Now, what I did as a teenager, I'm not boasting about it because I got a lot of training. Now, I started thinking beyond the, uh, I call it the mind control. And you'll notice, you can do this consciously, you'll notice the first thought is a reactionary kind of an idea that comes to you, as I say, by means of uh, technology. In the past, uh, the Matrix, because this happens within the Matrix that we live in, in the past it was run from like uh, stone circles and fairy forts. These days, I believe, from what I've channeled and uh, some of what I've read, uh, like a lot of the illusion, we call the matrix the illusion, that's all run by means of uh, radio. Basically, uh, Wi Fi is radio, Bluetooth is radio, you've got analog, uh, anyway, and um, you've got different frequencies, and they send out this uh, mind control. Now, you can get beyond it, you can do this consciously, as I said, you can start thinking about going for a more uh, coherent, deeper idea before, and again, this gets back to reactionaryism, and I'm in, I like to call it, anti-reactionaryism. So, again, I don't like to boast about this, as I say, um, you know, uh, ah yeah, right, enough about that. Anyway, that's nearly all I have for today's video, uh, the controllers, and they are the Dracos, and they, <laughs> we're having a lot of fun with those guys in the illusion, you know, man, we're the ones who wanted to develop technologically, so, you know, they would have been happy enough for us to stay in the Middle Ages, and, uh, you know, they would stay in their castles most of the time. And they would say that maybe we were better off. But if we're going to develop this technology, right, we have to do something with it. And that is, spread the word, let's get out of the matrix, back to the surface, because that's what it's about. We're in a, yeah, this is a weird one, right? You know... I don't want to distress people because, as I say, we're having a lot of fun, right? But we need to get back to the surface to uh, enter 4D, fourth density. Because uh, mankind, you know, this goes back to the time of Atlantis. And I've channeled this and I've read some about this, but it's more um, channeled than, uh, you know, orthodox information and 
yeah, so we have to get back to the surface. And there is some urgency because these bases that we're in, in which the matrix is run, my understanding is they're not going to be around for much longer. So we have to evolve, get into anti-reactionaryism. And uh, I believe that from what I've read again, there's a great book, The Law of One. It was channeled back in the early 80s. You know, uh, yeah, so we're going to fourth density, like it or not. Uh, so let's get out of here. And uh, that's all I have for today. Namaste. You know, uh, that's about all I got. Good luck.